Hi, welcome to this lesson. In our previous lesson, we learned how to solve simultaneous equations. In this lesson, we are going to continue. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to find the solution set of two given linear equations in two variables. Now, let's try this example. Now, to find the solution set of 2u plus v all over 5 is equal to 2 and u plus 3v over 5 is equal to 5. So let's call this equation A. Let's call this equation B. So from equation A, you know, we can just cross multiply. So this is over 1. We are going to multiply this by this and then multiply this by this. So we have this times 1 will still give us 2u plus v is equal to 5 times 2 is 10. And then from equation B, yeah, this is still over 1. So we are going to cross multiply. So we have this times 1 is still the same thing. So we have u plus 3v is equal to 5 times 5 is 25. And we are going to use, so this is our equation 1, this is our equation 2. We are going to use the substitution method. So let's make v the subject from this equation. So from equation 1, we can say that v is equal to 10 minus 2u. And then we are going to substitute this equation, that is equation 3, into equation 2. So let's move on. So since we made V the subject in this equation, we can't substitute it back into this equation again. We have to put it here. So we have U and then plus 3. Now where we see V, V is now 10 minus 2U. So 10 minus 2U is equal to 25. And we expand the bracket. So we have U plus this time this is 30. This time this is minus 6u is equal to 25. And then let's group like terms. So we have u minus 6u is equal to 25 minus 30. It's minus 30. Now this minus this is what? Negative 5u is equal to 25 minus 30 is negative 5. We divide 2 by negative 5. That is the coefficient of u. And this and this will cancel. This and this will cancel. 5 goes here, 1. Goes here, 1. So if u is equal to 1. And then once we have the value of u, we can substitute this into this equation straightforward. And then we get our v. So we are going to put u is equal to 1 into equation 3. So we have V is equal to 10 minus 2 and then U is what? 1. So it is V is equal to 10 minus 2 which is equal to what? 8. So U is equal to 1. V is equal to 8. And then we are done. So we are now going to find the solution set. So U V is such that u is equal to 1 and v is equal to 8. We've come to the end of this lesson. In this lesson, we learned how to use the substitution method to solve simultaneous equations that involve fractions. Join me in the next lesson as we continue to take a look at how to solve simultaneous equations. See you in the next lesson.